Are we all gonna say hey everyone? Oh wait, <laughs> somebody got talking. <laughs> no, because I, I was waiting for Nell to say hey everyone. So anyway, um, three, two, one. Everyone, start waving. Hey everyone, what's going on? It is your casters for IVC 2024 here. We got Chocho, Nello Mello, Eli O to give you the pre-show to IVC 2024. Before we start streaming everything, we want to give you guys the lowdown on what you guys have to look forward to and the roster shakeups. So uh, Chocho, please run us through. For I mean, we're gonna compare this to IVC 2020 side, uh, I mean, new additions definitely would be Yash. And also the other side, we have FT Miao Pai. And as for Team UTP, we do have a transfer player from Team FT. Ex-member of FT, we have Kenda into this team. And also a Japanese hunter, Nemo. And as for Map Penguins, we've seen many changes. But our uh, thing new notices definitely would be Kate, Alet, as well as Toby. GH, uh, many changes already. Uh, we have the main three still, Narakun, Capcoon, and Little Boy. New, new additions definitely will be Yazund and Club Name. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this new coach, I'm not too sure who, but we'll just have to wait and see. As for NG, new gen, I think, I um, mean, we have Hachari, Boyman. Uh, as the last, I'm not sure if this is the last. Last one. human, sure. might be. Could might be. be. Might be. Mm -hmm. And other than that, Players or yeah. Energy, okay. Energy. All right, Chocho. Thank you for running down the list. Now I'm gonna throw it to Nell and Eli because you guys have managed teams before and uh, you've played like to the highest levels. What do you think is the biggest roster shakeup here, and what should we look forward to? Let's start with Nell. Okay. Um, first off, I think the biggest change up, right, that could affect the entire power dynamic is the departure of two players uh, from GH, where Chao Kahn. God J. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even Yopai has left and now God J is a pop back as the hunter as well. But I think this is the biggest shake up ever. Because right now we are split between two teams, GH and Team FT. And mm -hmm. these, two, these two teams used to be one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, you get what I mean? So now yeah. that they are uh, divided into two, uh, you can see that clearly the power has been divided as well. The power that has been divided as well. Because now, uh, basically, by Chao Kahn and uh, Skyfall, they are the ones mm -hmm. who got to play the top four. So I think okay. That's, that's interesting. Eli, please chime in. How do you feel about the Avengers of Thailand splitting up into two now that, I mean, FTs had just won IBC previously, so how do you think this is going to affect the whole IBC 2024 landscape? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because GH has always won in the past up until this last event, and then after this recent... Probably this they change. Uh, it's been a hunter we've known in the past to play very specific hunters uh, in round one rather than what's traditionally used in round one. For example, usually we've seen him play characters like uh, Wax Artist or Bon Bon or something in round one where a lot back in that meta, a lot of hunters were playing like maybe Dream Witch or even Breaking Wheel or something, and he never would really. He wouldn't do that as much. He would stick to his kind of his his specific characters that he already plays. Um, so it really comes down to if Gaje is able to learn characters such as uh, Opera Singer and Ivy effectively. Again, both of those hunters are not easy to play at all. Um, so that's gonna be pretty important, I think. And then also when it comes down to like changing Survivor teams as well, a lot of as a viewer you can sort of see like okay, this team has picked up really good survivors that have been really good in tournaments in the past, but it's not really how it works. It really comes down to how well those players actually play together. Uh, there can be a lot of like internal conflicts when it comes to uh, team chemistry and things like that. And I know we talk about that, about that a lot, and as a viewer, it doesn't really seem like a big deal, but it actually is, because a lot of teams won't play as well together uh, as they would with um, other players or whatever. It really can change up in that, that adjustment to survivor teams. You could have the four best survivors in the server on one team, and if they don't get along very well, they're not going to be very successful in a tournament. So uh, that's mm -hmm. something you have to consider as well, and I think that's going to be a big uh, factor to see if these, this, you know, these GH teams splitting into two right. can actually uh, perform well in their respective teams. Team synergy is very important, so that's one thing to look forward to. So I'm going to throw it to Chocho. 
um, any other teams that like team dynamics that we've seen? Because I mean, a lot of people are looking at FT because they're the reigning defending IBC champs. But uh, which team got, you, got is on your radar for people to look out for? Definitely have to be FT, right? I mean, other than the two Zara players that left GH, we also had Miao Pai initially. I mean, he was in COA7 with, I mean, with GH in COA7, but right. uh, ultimately when it came to IBA, right? One of the better better hunter players, right? I mean, he also shocked, not really shocked, but he also impressed a uh, majority of us, I mean, Chinese viewers mm-hmm. as well, during COA7. So, uh, coming into this, I think FT, this might be their strongest lineup that we might be seeing here. Yeah, I mean, with with Eli said also when it comes to the factors of team synergy, dynamics, and also they got a strong hunter. I'm excited to see how FT is going to be. So real quick, round the line, I want to ask you guys, which hunter and which survivor are you looking forward to seeing play in IVC 2023 and why? So we're going to throw it to Nell first since I asked them first. Name a hunter and survivor that you want to see. We were looking, you're eyeing, and why? And I'm going to answer it too, but you go first. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay. Glucose and Hurricane, these two players are the ones who carry their, their teams when mm-hmm. it's their first time playing. Like, it's their first time playing with OG Survivor uh, characters. characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, OG Survivors, uh, famous OG Survivors, and they managed to pull their own weight and even clutch it when they needed that point. So, I feel like uh, these two hunters are definitely to be watched out for. Mm. Okay, and, that's and good. For mm-hmm. Survivors? There's 4EW. Sorry, you were saying, Jojo? Jump in. Oh, there's 4EW, just in case we forgot them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Hushin's there, so that's definitely there. Zen, shoutouts to him too. Potato's there. MX, yeah. really strong team as well. So the apocalypse is coming. But like you mentioned, like they keep jumping around, right? So Team Synergy. But oh, sorry, Nell, you were saying? No, I think Hushin's a given. Because he's already mm-hmm. proven himself. Um, he's already proven himself uh, when he took over Mel Pai's spot, right? He's already proven yeah. I. Ah, true. Uh, I might. Sorry, my answer to that is kind of a known name, but we really didn't see him that much in the Koa stage. I'm excited to see Panda back in action. Right? We haven't seen him perform that much, but now he's on the main lineup. Uh, we've been we've watched his journey since IVC 2022, right? And he has improved since there to IVC 2023, and now he's in a, a team. Uh, we'll see how he fares. You know, it, it is not ki- IV, identity five is not kind to players that have not trained for a while. So, I mean, hopefully he's be, he'll be able to you know rack up some points and some MVP statuses there. So that's for me when it comes to Survivor um, Hunter. Yeah, I'm probably gonna say the same names. I'm probably gonna take a page out of Eli's book and say God Jay because uh, he did bring up good points with the. We haven't seen him hunt in a while since. I, for correct me if I'm wrong, but we haven't hunt since IDC last year because in Koa it was Meow Pai that was hunting entirely for GH I think there was that one time he hunted for uh, GH but after that um, he was kind of benched so really excited to see how God J is going to perform uh, that's for me what about you Eli when it comes to survivors yeah so I'll be honest Potch actually said the exact two players that I was going to say so darn it um, sorry I stole your yeah, answer really good. <laughs> um, so survivors then I'll go with uh, what Yash uh, yes. Oh okay. no! What are you picking? That's Cho Cho then. This is uh, this, <laughs> this is a player that's been uh, you know, arguably one of the, the best survivors in the entire Southeast Asian server, but he's been in and out of the game uh, over the past two years. So uh, definitely, it's gonna be very uh, a very impactful player. Um, it'll be very important to see if he is able to continue and keep up the training, uh, considering that he's a very busy individual. Um, and then for the hunter side, I was thinking with Gaji, but we'll go with Zen because uh, Zen is Zen. another player that you know we've seen be very you know play a lot in the past. Took a little mm-hmm. break for a while over the past year, over the past two years, and is now um, sort of back into this competitive scene again. So um, that's going to be another big player. Those two players in particular have been in and out of the game, so it's very important to see uh, if they're able to keep up with the, the adjustments in the current meta. Again, there's just been so many changes, especially from the hunter side in this game with two incredibly hard or mm-hmm. incredibly strong hunters and also very difficult to play so uh, that's going to be pretty important I would say okay thank you last but not least Chocho sorry we stole all your answers but well, <laughs> we um, got... 
I think for Survivor side, uh, would be EMP's Zhao Khan. Uh, I think uh, I've always uh, sang praises right for Zhao Khan. I mean, last time when I was ranking, he's always been carrying me, even though he's uh, right under. For the hunter, nobody mentioned Miao Pai, right? So I'm gonna yeah. pick Miao Pai. I mean, he's okay. the most definite one. Like, I think everybody is just expecting to see him uh, outperform everyone else. So uh, yeah, definitely one of the strong hunters that I'm looking out for later on. Okay. All right. Oh, and with that being said, folks. Oxygen's also here. <laughs> Looking for. <laughs> <through. Yeah. laughs> uh, all right. Uh, before we end, any final thoughts before we close this pre-show out? Since we want to keep it snappy and and fast. No. Any anything you want to say to the people watching? Uh, please do keep coming to support. Um, I think the events, the players, and of course the team that you you guys have known and loved for all these years, right? So don't go anywhere. Mark your calendar, mark your time, because tomorrow at 3 p.m. GSP plus 8, that's going to be the time of the live stream. Uh, so see you guys there, and do come and support me. Eli, any final thoughts, final words? Yeah, uh, very exciting tournament coming up. Again, the winner of this will be securing themselves a spot in Koa, so it's a really, really big deal. Uh, make sure you guys come out and uh, keep the positivity at all times, and uh, you know, just support your favorite team and enjoy the tournament. Chocho, what about you? Yeah, I think our main part is to enjoy the tournament. Also, um, you know, keep the chat positive and hopefully we'll be able to see you guys there and also give you guys a short shout out. Yeah. Uh, also, tune in because we are going to have another episode of this, but we're going to have more predictions. So tune into Nell's socials on that. I know you guys aren't going to be t- screaming their socials, but I will be doing it. Who is Chocho for Chocho, Nello the World, and Eli o- Eli OIDV? Is that, is that correct? Is that your hashtag? Eli there you go he gives english lessons please follow him and for me it's at spicy potch super excited for ibc 2024 to start so we'll see you guys there peace ciao crew dang i forgot to say that <laughs> <laughs> bye bye <laughs>